Hi everyone, Cosmic Mango here, your favorite mango from outer space. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Are you searching for the perfect card to give your commander deck that extra kick? Look no further, I'm here to help you out. Please watch this video where we explore the untapped potential of lesser known gems in the Magic the Gathering universe. Prepare to dive into a world of hidden treasures and secret strategies as we unveil the cards that can turn the tide in your favor and inject new life into your deck. Before we start, I would like to quickly mention my friends at Paramount Designs. They make amazing playmats with fantastic quality. If you're interested in picking up a new playmat with great artwork, check out the link in my description below, which is offering a special discount code for my YouTube viewers. So, if you're tired of running the same old predictable staples and desire a breath of fresh air in your commander games, buckle up and get ready to power up. Without further ado, sit back, relax and enjoy the show. Number 1. Insurrection A sorcery spell that costs 3 red and 5 generic mana to cast. It says the following. Untap all creatures and gain control of them until the end of turn. They gain haste until end of turn. This is an amazing card and fantastic for closing out games. Having the ability to pretty much steal all creatures on the board, untap them and use them to attack all their owners is just so powerful and pretty funny. Killing players with their own creatures is always funny. Insurrection offers strong immediate impact with a funky surprise factor. Trust me, opponents don't ever see this card coming. If you're looking for a powerful red card with game ending potential, then this is the perfect one for you. The only downside is that hefty 8 mana cost. You can buy this card for around $4. Number 2. Grenzo Havoc Razor. A legendary goblin rogue creature that costs 2 red mana to cast. He has 2 power and 2 toughness and says the following. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, choose one. Gold target creature that player controls or exile the top card of that player's library until the end of the turn you may cast that card and you may spend mana as though it were mana of any color to cast that spell. Grenzo is super fun, a brilliant creature and can even be used as your commander if you want to. I have a very good friend who has a Grenzo deck and it's incredibly strong and very fast paced. Apart from my friend's Grenzo deck though I have never seen another Grenzo in action making him severely underplayed in my opinion. Grenzo has a very unique kit, allowing you to either gold creatures or exile cards from your opponent's decks and cast them. His playstyle is fast and aggressive, offering card advantage which is pretty unique for aggressive style decks. He creates games with politics and a lot of randomness, an all around solid card and a very enjoyable one to play. You can buy this card for around $1.50. Number 3. Dove Scape an enchantment spell that costs 3 white or blue mana as it has hybrid mana symbol and 3 generic mana to cast, so 6 total mana in total. It says the following, whenever a player casts a non-creature spell, counter that spell. That player creates x11 white and blue bird creature tokens with flying, where x is the spell's mana value. First off, I have never seen anyone play this card before, thus making it severely underplayed in my opinion. This enchantment can completely change the dynamics of a game. It replaces all spells and abilities with a flock of birds, forcing players to think and play in a new way. So if you're running a creature focused deck with a very small amount of non-creature spells, this could be highly beneficial for you. Or abuse high casting non-creature spells to create a huge army of birds to peck your opponent's life totals down to zero. This card is incredibly disruptive and it will either make your opponents laugh or groan. You can buy this card for around one dollar and fifty cents. Number four, Estris Invocation, an enchantment spell that costs one blue and two generic mana to cast. It says the following: You may have Estris Invocation enter the battlefield as a copy of an enchantment you control, except it has at the beginning of your upkeep. You may exile this enchantment. If you do, return it to the battlefield under its owner's control. So I'm a big fan of this card and always have been. I opened one years ago in my Commander Precon deck called Adaptive Enchantment. I've always thought it was a hyper powerful card with unlimited potential. You can develop your favorite enchantment with this card as long as you control it of course. Think of the endless possibilities you can do and it only costs 3 total mana to cast. This card is wonderful offering superb value and supreme levels of synergy. Oh and I got to mention the card art is pretty sick, I love it. 
A truly awesome card indeed, however, it has increased in price over the years. You can buy this card for around $14. Number five. Kaya Ghost Assassin, a planeswalker that costs one black, one white, and two generic mana to cast. She enters the battlefield with five loyalty counters and has the following abilities. For zero, XL Kaya, Ghost Assassin, or up to one target creature. Return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of your next upkeep, you lose two life. For minus one, each opponent loses two life and you gain two life. For minus two, each opponent discards a card and you draw a card. Kaya offers three really cool abilities. My favorite though has to be her first ability, which offers a flicker effect for us, allowing us to exile Kaya or a creature and return it back at the beginning of our next end step, allowing us to do all sorts of cool things like abuse and enter the battlefield effect, or even use it to disrupt any horrible auras an opponent may have placed on one of our creatures. It's a good thing to know, um, if you bring Kaya down to really low loyalty points as well, one or two for example, you can use her zero ability to bring her back into the battlefield and she'll reset, coming back with five loyalty counters. This planeswalker is great in commander, offering great versatility and repeated card draw, giving us card advantage and card disadvantage to our opponents as they have to discard. You can buy this card for around two dollars. Number six, Kemba Card Regent. A legendary cat cleric creature that costs two white and one generic mana to cast. She has two power and four toughness and says the following. At the beginning of your upkeep, create a 2-2 white cat creature token for each equipment attached to Kemba Car Regent. So this card used to be a rare, but has since been reprinted into an uncommon, dramatically dropping the price. Although, I don't think Kemba ever cost too much in the first place. This legendary creature has always puzzled me. She looks so good. She is so good, very powerful indeed, but I never see anyone running her in the 99 or as a commander. It's a real darn shame. Maybe I should build this deck. It could be a very fun deck. Kemba is a fantastic in commander format because of her ability to generate a large number of tokens very easily and effectively. You can quickly assemble a large army of 2-2 cats to overthrow your opponent's life totals with. And the extra spicy bonus is, while that's all going on, Kemper herself is becoming huge, a huge threat with all of her equipment attached to her. If she is your commander, you can rapidly use her to deal 21 commander damage to an opponent, as well as using the cat to attack other people's life totals. Overall, Kemba the Regent is a super duper awesome creature, and you can buy this card for around 35 cents. Number seven, the final card on my list, Sudden Demise, a saucy spell that costs one red and X mana to cast. It says the following. Choose a color. Sudden Demise deals X damage to each creature of the chosen color. So, Sudden Demise is a wonderful card and an interesting one. The longer the game goes on for, the better the card scales, as it's highly dependent on how much mana you can pump into it. The card is a great mass removal. In a format like Commander, where games often feature large creatures, or creature board states, this can wipe out a significant number of threats all at once. Additionally, being able to choose the color makes it flexible and adaptable to various situations, giving the opportunity to hopefully keep your board state while your opponent loses theirs. Sudden Demise is a surprising and unexpected spell. Not many people see it coming, so opponents will likely never expect it. You can buy this card for around 50 cents. Okie dokie everyone, we have come to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for making it this far. If you did enjoy the video, please could drop a like, comment and subscribe to the channel. I would love to know if you have any recommendations on impactful cards that you believe are underplayed and can power up your commander gameplay. If so, please share it in the comment section below. I love reading your comments and I always try my best to answer them all. Which is your favourite card list in this video? Let me know. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, take care and goodbye.